Peace up. Peace up. A-Town. Yeah. Uh. Hey guys, this is Geeky Artist, and here's another video tutorial for you. So, well, it's not really a tutorial, but a very quick and simple GIMP tip that you can do with your images. So, if you're doing or making signatures or banners or wallpapers, this is a cool tip for you. So, first up is choose any two pictures, well, two or more if you want, but I'll just um, use two pictures and I'll be using a picture of some clouds and a cat so make sure they have the same size so I'll go with 800 by 600 pixels so we go to image then we go to scale image and um, we change the size of our image to 800 so as you can see when I change the width of the image um, it also affected the height of the image so to avoid that just hit the link button here okay and we can change our height without affecting the width so it's 800 by 600 hit scale okay then we go to edit and we go to copy okay now we go to our other picture and we hit Control L to open the layers window like so we select our background and hit duplicate like so so we have two layers the background copy and the background you select the background copy and then we go to edit and hit paste like so we go back to our layers window and all you need to do is anchor the pasted layer like so and then go to opacity so for you guys to see this change the value of the opacity to your own liking and as you can see um, our background copy is becoming transparent and it's like blending in with our background like so so if you're satisfied with that just hit file and then save as and um, whatever file name you want save it as any um, image format you want and just hit save hit export and then save and there we go so it's that simple it's that easy and we have this cool and neat background okay so here's another example so we go to file hit new any image size will do and then we go to our gradient tool and choose our gradient so I'll just go with tropical colors and then draw a line across wherever we want so I'll just go with um, horizontal line like so and then we go to our layers window duplicate our background and select our background copy and we change our gradient to whatever gradient we want so I'll just go with um, pastels okay and then I'll go um, draw a line corner to corner so from corner to corner like so next is we go to our layers window again and then same technique same tip change the opacity and there we go so we have this um, cool background we can use and you can experiment with a bunch of radiants a bunch of images that you want and um, so that's that's basically it so that's just a quick and simple tip you could do with GIMP so thanks for watching this video and it's also an update video for you guys I'm sorry I wasn't able to make videos lately it's because well my grandfather was brought to the hospital a few weeks back but he's okay now so so he is at home now and um, thank god he is getting better so he suffered from a mild stroke and um, I wasn't able to make videos um, we were there for him and um, I do hope you understand that guys and also I had a lot of things to do um, schoolwork and things to do at home as well anyway um, I'll be 
making your videos I'm going to find time to grant all your requests and suggestions which I appreciate really do appreciate them guys you know who you are and thank you so to all my subscribers I also appreciate the sub thank you guys for the sub and for the support check me out on Facebook just search geeky artist and um, check out my YouTube partners on my channel more videos to come thanks for watching this video and um, stay creative have fun and see you guys bye